Ace Award! Hello, everybody. I am so glad to have you here tonight to celebrate some of the best landlords in Portland and some of the some of the best practices who have done some of the best work of pushing Portlanders out of town. They, they have made the most out of our housing crisis and made sure that that crisis doesn't go away. I mean, that takes work. That takes dedication. That takes some brazen public statements. It takes a lot of money for lawmakers. Let's give it up for Multifamily Northwest. So, so we're here to do our own award ceremony, and I just, uh, I'm going to need a little participation i want you to uh think about your biggest fat cat landlord laugh all right and when i hold this up are you gonna do that for me go ahead and try i feel like i didn't quite hear enough money in that can i one more time great and when we when we have a, a big victory to announce can i hear you cheer real loud maybe like a hip hip hooray i don't know let's try that Do a little cost cutting here at uh, Multifamily Northwest. So uh, this will work. Hang on. Our first award is a true favorite of ours and one of the most competitive. This is the award for biggest rent increase. about how 
high we could go. <laughs> the future is bright, and for rent hikes, the sky's the limit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You are truly an inspiration. Give it up for Lucy. Our next award is always another hard choice. We love our no-cause evictions. They are such valuable tools to remind needy tenants about who's in charge. Am I right? <laughs> might use this event to talk about how unfair no-cause evictions are and move towards an unprofitable just-cause eviction model. But none of my fears came true. As usual, we win our beautiful property was featured in the news and our other tenants know not to rock the boat. <laughs> and thanks to the lobbying efforts of multifamily, just cause evictions are still off the table. Thank you, Multifamily Northwest, for this honor. Stephen, it's touching stories like this that remind us why we do the work. Well, folks, it's time for our grand finale. The award for the company or landlord that truly raises the bar for the rest of us. Who shows us how it's done. You know the one. It's time to announce the winner of the most effective crisis profiteer of the year. going to a very special nominee, a nominee that is often unrecognized at our awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the mom and pop landlord often flies under the radar, dismissed as well-intentioned folk just trying to get by, 
and sometimes this is the case. But often, these are landlords who manage them to most effectively price gouge, ignore maintenance, evict and intimidate tenants to maximize their profits, and deftly go between Airbnb and long-term tenants. And they do all of this with such skill and poise and such a sympathetic face. The policymakers and even their tenants cheer them on! <laughs> Most importantly, us big landlords completely rely on mom and pop to convince lawmakers year after year that us landlords don't need any oversight and that our profits, mom and pop's profits, it's their retirement account, come on. Our profits are the most important! We proudly bestow Crisis Profiteer of the Year to Mom and Pop! Biggest rent increase and crisis profiteer of the year, 